Welcome back to Inside the Ropes. We've got a couple of award winners on the program this week. Anna Maria England and Mark Tibbles, who's the pro at the Vines Resort in Perth. Uh, that pair won the Visionaries of the Year for February. Now, the Visionaries of the Year is a Vision 2025-related award that Golf Australia gives out each month, in this case for February. For people who uh, contribute something to the cause of uh, Vision 2025, which is about uh, women's participation and girls' participation in golf, they picked up a $500 drum and golf voucher and uh, they're in, in with a chance of winning the visionary of the year, visionaries of the year which carries a $10,000 Callaway uh, range pack uh, so congratulations guys uh, first of all Mark um, tell us a bit about what you did and how you drew Anna Maria who's a uh, community instructor uh, into this whole mix Sure. Well, I, I taught Anna Maria golf over the years, and I, and I just thought with her passion and interest in golf that someday she might like to be involved in the industry. Um, and knowing my teaching style and philosophies, she was uh, an obvious choice when I was looking to appoint a community instructor. And you two uh, got together and started some programs at the Vines, and I think that you know the end result that was quoted in the article we published on the on the website the other day is that there are, I think, three hundred and fifty new female players at that, at that club as a result of what you've done over over the last few years, just encouraging women and girls to come in there? Yeah, well, we've had um, a number of game development programs. One is our women's program, Got to Get Golfing, which has attracted um, t- over 200 um, ladies through 2020. Um, we've also got a special needs program, and there were another 50 or so ladies from there. Plus, we've got a girls program. So, yeah, across all our programs, female participation has, has really taken off and uh, you know, Anna Maria has been a big, huge part of that. Just before I get to Anna Maria uh, to, to ask her some questions, Mark, what did you make as a pro of that community instructor program? Because for people at home who don't understand it, you, you might like to explain that, but in short, it's, it's, for, it's for, I guess, a, a level underneath a pro um, where you, you know you don't have to be a plus two marker to, to get into that program, but you can help people uh, with their with their golf. So, what did you think of that sure. as a pro? Um, well, it was perfect for me because you know the programs I'm running, we've, we've generally got eight, ten people in a program, and, and um, you know teaching groups is quite hard work. It's got to the stage where we've got twenty groups a week, so to have someone on board assisting me, um, and I was particularly interested in finding someone who was going to help with the ladies' programs. Um, so, as I say, Anna was a perfect choice. She plays off six handicap, which adds to her credibility as an instructor. Um, and I think people value the fact that, particularly the ladies, that they've got a female coach and a male coach um, when they're having their lessons. Anna Maria, if you can hear me, uh, you must be very yep. proud. You must be very proud of this because uh, you've you've really achieved something, and I know that it it is your passion. Yeah, it's very exciting. It's um, something I had never ever expected, and it's um, we've had wonderful feedback from all the women, and um, you know, some of them, one of them last week said, "Golf has changed your life," so it's very rewarding. You've played golf all your life. Um, you know what brought you to? I started in my yeah. I started in my mid twenties. All oh, right. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, what brought you to this uh, side of golf? You know, uh, was it? I think I read that your your career was winding down, and you were looking for something to kind of get your teeth into. And and you, you do. I mentioned your passion for golf, but it, you you know you you have a passion for drawing women and girls to golf as well, specifically, don't you? Yeah, well, I know what I got out of golf. You know, there's so much treasure, and um, I can I can see that with the women who are playing now, and that the women who are attracted to the game, um, they're just loving the new friendships, they're loving being outside, and they're loving the sport itself. And I'm just very grateful that I can combine my passion with my job. Anna Maria, do you sense a change in the world of golf uh, t- towards? You know, I think it's it's a public record that we have an 80-20 split between men and and women and, and boys and girls uh, in golf, which is something that the sport's not proud of. Uh, now, 
we might not ever get it to 50-50. It doesn't necessarily have to get to 50-50, but 80-20 is a little bit lopsided to say the least. So uh, do, you, but do you sense in the last year or two with Vision 2025 and a few of the other things that are happening, do you think that it is changing? Yeah, for sure. Uh, particularly our course, I'm, I can't speak for other courses, but um, our programs are really attracting a lot of women and they're spreading the word about what we're doing. So we're getting growth in our membership. We're getting uh, a lot of young girls, as young as four, coming now and, and it's challenges to nurture them and retain them and get them into membership as well. Mark, I wanted to ask you that same question. Do you think it's changing? Do you think that golf's attitude is changing? Are we, as a game, are we embracing women and girls a little better than what we have in the past? Absolutely, yes. It's certainly, certainly a greater focus, I think. Um, I think Golf Australia and the PGA are working together to really assist with inclusion, um, get the pros on board with whether it be women or whether it be special needs or... Um, Indigenous, uh, underprivileged, and, and and I think there is a um, a great focus on that at the moment. And um, there's a huge market out there. There are a lot of people out there that are probably afraid to have a go, but um, if they're welcomed um, and you can make them feel comfortable, uh, then of course, you know, it makes a huge difference. Again, I'll ask both of the, you this question: uh, what, what do you think? Uh, have been the roadblocks in the past to better female participation and what what needs to happen to make that better? You go first, Mark. Oh, so, you go first, Anna Marie. Oh, sorry. Yeah, just for some reason. Gender equality, um, especially at our club. Um, you know, many years ago when I was at a different club, we were associates. Um, it was very much all about the men, Um just, that just doesn't happen at all now. So, and we have uh, equal competition days where all it's all inclusive, and um, yeah, women are just made to feel very welcome here. So, do you have uh, blocked out tea times? For instance, can women play on Saturdays at the Vines? Oh, definitely. So yeah. Yeah. you might get a flight of two men and two women. Um, Tuesday is traditionally Women's Day, but we, luckily we have two courses, so the men get to play in their comp as well. But every other day it's combined um, competition. Very good. And Mark, uh, what are your thoughts on that? What what do we need to keep doing to, to be better at this? Um, <clears throat> well, I just I just think it's just encouraging more women to play, give them opportunities to actually get into a facility and have a look and get a feel for what golf's all about. I think getting them through the door, through the gates, can be intimidating. Um, and so I think golf clubs have to do what they can to um, to just make everybody feel welcome. One of the things that we'll do with our golf lessons um, is we include coffee with every class we do. So the ladies are encouraged to stick around for another 30 minutes, 40 minutes, um, we can discuss things golf-wise or they can get to know each other better and it makes a huge difference making feel, people feel welcome and comfortable and um, building friendships is a huge part of the whole thing. Well, look, guys, uh, that's tremendous that you've you've won that award. It's it's much deserved. Uh, I should mention while we're, we're on this topic that, we're, that Golf Australia is looking for nominations for the March uh, Visionaries of the Year Award. We haven't seen too many entries yet you can do that through the uh, golf australia website but uh, anna maria and mark thanks so much for your time and congratulations on your work we appreciate it thank you so much for having us thanks martin it's a pleasure well hazy 350 new players yeah. uh, attracted to the game that's that's got to be good we've talked to some great grassroots people today about attracting women and girls to the game which is so important